First thing every gentleman needs is a good suit, by which I mean a bespoke suit, never off the peg. And Kingsman suits are always bulletproof. So let's get you measured, and then whether you get the job or not, you'll have a lasting and useful memento of your time at Kingsman. That is a scene from 2014's Kingsman, The Secret Service, a film that has led to both a sequel and a prequel. It also made a central location in that movie a tourist attraction. Huntsman is located on London's famed Savile Row. The row still makes the best suits in the world. But as we saw, past is meeting the present and future, as bespoke clothing adjusts with the times, finds different customers, and cuts a new path forward. Our Jeff Glor went there to take a look. It's amazing how much it's changed here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Huntsman, Jeff. It's great to be here. Yeah. Inside 11 Savile Row, the patterns of famous clients, past and present, are unmistakable. Lawrence Olivier, Eric Clapton, David Bowie. These were based off of Gregory Peck's. That's probably our most iconic tweed. I could never be that bold wearing that, but... <laughs> but a house draped in nearly 175 years of tradition knows change is still necessary. Taj Full took over at Huntsman in 2019. How does someone become managing director at Huntsman? Being able to keep up with the times. Huntsman sits on a narrow street in London that was first occupied mostly by military officers. In the late 1840s, the first tailor shops opened here, specializing in bespoke, clothing cut and made by hand for kings and queens, world leaders and barons of business. Through wars and pandemics, Savile Row has endured. But the last couple years have been among the most consequential. Let me take a closer look at the shoulder. During the pandemic, Huntsman pioneered the teleporting bespoke experience using 4K cameras and robots, not unlike at hospitals. You can do surgery remotely, so let's speak to the companies who do this. So we mm. spoke to a couple of surgeons, we spoke to a couple of companies, and then we came up with our robot that works for us now within seven cities in Asia um, on a full-time basis. I can actually show you here, I've got the bunch in front of me. Um, what about this, the lovely tan barley corn? Do you think the robot fitting is just as good as what? Yeah, yeah with, with that, because there's no actual element where the robot is using an, an AI or an algorithm. It is the cutter looking, taking pictures and watching the fitting process. Cutters create the template or pattern on which all future garments for a customer will be based. So four panels on a trouser, two of the, two of the same in the front, two at the back. Jacket, two front, two side, two back, and, uh, two top sleeve, two under sleeve. Max Whitaker gave us a brief demonstration. So, How's that? Very good, very good, yeah, for the first time, yeah, very good, yeah. I've seen a lot worse. Okay, <laughs> good. There are usually three fittings involved in a bespoke suit, a process that typically takes two and a half months to complete and starts around $8,000 per suit. Everything is done on site, including the coat making, led by Steve Venn, who's going into his 30th year, including his apprenticeship. How long was the apprenticeship? Mom, still going on. Still going on my apprenticeship. I, there's not a day that goes by that I don't learn something new, think about something in a different way. Everyone here has their job. Yes, everyone has their own skill sets. Yeah, so you either go, I mean, in this room, we're all coat makers. Um, in the other side of the room, you've got trouser makers. So it's a very individual, and then you have waistcoat makers as well. And then obviously you've got the cutters upstairs who, who make the patterns. What part of the process are we in now? We've got to the stage of the sleeves to go in. So we've measured the armhole, and now we've got to decide the shape of the sleeve to match up with the armhole. Steve, I'd like to remind you, before this started, you told me you were uncomfortable on camera. Yeah. And you now beautifully explain the process uninterrupted. So congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing it a good few years now. I should, I, should have be able, I should be able to talk about it. You can make anything work if you feel the right way in it. Exactly. Susan Bender is a contributing editor at British Vogue, 
who now also works with Huntsman. I think when I first came here, I was quite terrified. Um, it being like Huntsman, the bastion of Savile Row, bespoke tailoring. But once you actually come in here, it's very relaxed and there's nothing to be terrified of. I have to tell you, I, I didn't expect to see someone in denim <laughs> at Huntsman. I think that's the freedom that um, bespoke tailoring can give to you. They can make you a denim suit if you want. That would be a real Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Bender has introduced a new look for the modern Hunts woman. The idea is, is like, it's like replaceable parts. Yes. So you can design whatever you want so that the jacket is constantly being used, but in different ways. So you can add a lapel on to a jacket. Uh, right. so it's not a scarf, so it's, it's, it's no, a lapel. It's a lapel. It's great you for travel. Redesign. It's perfect for travel. One jacket, five, six, seven looks, yeah. if not more. How long should a really well-made, bespoke garment last for? 60 to 100 years, if not longer. The tailors on Savile Row believe bespoke is a lifetime commitment and beyond. At Huntsman, the patterns of customers who've passed away hang from the ceiling. As the business welcomes in new customers, many of whom had their curiosity piqued by the Kingsman movie. Come on in. The most visited room in the building. In the film, this fitting room is transformed into a secret entrance to a clandestine world of espionage and intrigue. Since 1849, Kingsman tailors have clothed the world's most powerful individuals. Today's visitor could be tomorrow's customer. So if we have a 12-year-old customer who walks through the door who's a Kingsman fan, they're treated the same way as if they're buying a bespoke garment from start to finish. Because times may change, but excellence will always be in fashion. This is something that you think fathers can hand down to sons and then to grandsons, to mothers, to daughters, and beyond. Without a question of a doubt, it's something I'm looking forward to do with my son. And for me, that is incredible. Like, there's so many things that you can hand down, watches and whatnot, but being able to wear something, knowing that your father or mother had worn it previously is also just as fulfilling. Size might be an issue with that, <laughs> that's all, but, but, but how amazing. Even the women's suits, like being able uh, yes. to like, switch that lapel. It's such a no. tiny thing that makes such a big difference. I was uh, I was on Savile Row not too long ago, just a, about a month or so ago, and I appreciated that it said, we are here for the finest men and women. Is that nice? it's something yeah. so traditional there. Yeah, well, you know, they kicked it up a notch I when know. they came to I wish us. I could afford it. But yeah. 